Okay, here's the basic configuration and setup if you want to use uh, Logic Pro specifically and then run. As you can see, I've got 16 channels. Um, 15, 15 of them are plugins, and then one is um, it's actually a MIDI instrument, my Roland JD 990 that I have hooked up into the network for the Mac specifically. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, the goal here is to run 16 channels of uh, each channel having its own sound and then running it like a virtual rack mount, okay? Then in turn, the audio card that I'm using, uh, the interface, excuse me, is the Sapphire Pro 40 Firewire. And on the back of that Sapphire Pro 40 is a MIDI in and MIDI out, old fashioned five pin DIN connector. So all I'm really doing is going out of that MIDI channel in our MIDI port in into the out of my port A uh, five pin MIDI jack on the back of the MPC. And then uh, the second part of that setup is to uh, go into project settings in Logic Pro and under MIDI and recording. This is the key. This tab here, or else you won't be able to demix the channels. So auto demix by channel if multi record. And so once that's selected, if you select all these in record mode, okay, as long as these channels are uh, in the inspector right here, are set to their own individual channels. So this is 16, 15 right here, uh, 14, so on and so on, okay? Uh, and there's one other option that you may have to do. This just depends. So, when you're dealing with multi-instruments, let's see if I can go into here. Uh, you'll, what you'll have to do is set the multi-channel, which in, in this example, the Omnisphere, and just make sure that matches the same channels here, 16 and 16, okay? So, uh, let's see. And then even the MIDI channel, uh, for 14 here on my JD990, that's my rack mount. You have to go into 990 like you would in the Omnisphere and make sure you set that channel to the corresponding channel, okay? And then I'm gonna move over to the MPC. Okay, we're at the Akai MPC now. This is part two of the, uh, the hookup. The hard part was actually uh, <coughs> setting up logic, really. And then now you just hear, um, all you have to do is set up your receive ports on the back and then your corresponding channel so uh what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take a quick peek so so what the deal is is on the back here and i'll go back to this uh at the end of this video um and explain what these ports are so i'm on port a that's the midi den you have four midi outs on the back okay so i'm only on one of four ports and what i'm doing is remember i'm piping in 16 channels from logic pro into the back of this puppy and so um as long as i have midi channel a here mpca port a uh, i just go through my channels so uh, for example okay go to channel two my drums okay and these are just my 16 sounds that, uh, from here my dx plug-in DX. Okay. The logic instrument. And so on and so forth. Here's my um, uh, JD-990. Okay. And so I got 16, 16 channels. This is Rolling Cloud. same sex sound that was in the phantom uh the new phantom so there's 16 channels and that's just from the mac on port a remember you get four physical midi din ports uh and then you get two physical in ports and that's important two physical ends and then you have two usb uh 
ports in the back that can receive uh, USB hubs in front of it. So, um, and that's a big deal because you could use eye connectivity. Uh, like I've got a mile 10 that has eight ins, eight outs of MIDI DIN. So you could have one of those hooked up to the back and then have a USB hub. Like I've got a seven port USB hub that could handle um, various USB co class compliant devices like my original Phantom rack, believe it or not, or the original um, Motif rack actually has USB on it. My Phantom G has USB on it. My Phantom X has USB on it. My V-Synth, um, my Motif XS rack actually has USB on it. So you could take all those devices, hook it up to MIDI, uh, into a USB multi-hub and then take that and plug it into the back of here and that would recognize all of those ports, okay? They would recognize all those ports individually, okay? So it's not just off of one port. Uh, so you're talking about, um, I think it's got to be up to like somewhere around 30 some odd to 50 actual MIDI ports it can recognize and each port remember has 16 channels i mean it's pretty excessive but theoretically you uh to drive the point home is that you don't really have to worry about this being your centerpiece which is to say this the justification for making the mpc instead of running the software in the mac and making the software on the mac the final destination i'm making uh the standalone of the mpcx as the final destination, the physical cell standing, um, not the plug-in, okay? And the reason for being that is I ran into uh, a few bugs from the last build and the most recent build. And uh, it's like a culmination of things that 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 influenced me to, to move in another direction in general. Uh, I'm running an old, uh, Mac Pro 12 core from the uh, cheese grater from back in 2010. Okay, so you know with the changes in Apple and uh, If you account for all the stuff that's going on right now um, with the with the um, Thunderbolt changing and all that other stuff that's going to be changing real soon And if you look at the past all that stuff has changed and then the drivers run out that you really uh want to keep something uh stable if you can and uh and so far the mpc x seems to be stable enough and can handle midi relatively well actually great and uh so for my creation content i'm going to try to use the mpc as my final destination standalone and then uh how i'm going to address bouncing it to audio um you know i might run it uh, run it through logic or whatever, or maybe just hook it back up just to run the uh, session back in the audio. So I haven't figured out the best way to do it, but uh, this setup is to address a comment that I had earlier about running the MPC, you know, whether running it as a plugin or not. So, so hopefully you get the gist of it. Uh, again, thanks for watching, and please don't forget to hit subscribe and leave your comments and questions below. And until then, peace out.